I'm Brendan Casey, General Manager Investments with REST. Welcome to our quarterly investment update. The financial year has ended with market bulls firmly in charge and equity markets at all-time highs. But it's been a volatile ride, with investors pulled in both directions. On the international stage, we've had trade wars, slowing global growth, and concerns around Brexit, Iran, North Korea, and oil price spikes. Conversely, we've had global monetary policy reversals and negative interest rates. On the local level, weakening growth, cooling property prices, and the Banking Royal Commission have largely been shrugged off by investors. They focused on runaway iron ore prices, the surprise return of the pro-investment Liberal Party, and the RBA's back-to-back rate cuts. And it's the influence of central banks that seems to have been the game changer during the past six months. From Europe to Japan, Australia, China, New Zealand, and now even the US Fed, central banks have demonstrated a willingness to cut rates in order to stem rising risks. So, how are we responding? While it's never a good idea to bet against central banks, monetary policy is a blunt tool, a point made recently by Philip Lowe, the governor of the RBA. Interest rates kept too low for too long can have unintended consequences, including widespread price distortions and asset bubbles. And more and more, this recovery looks to be about cheap debt rather than economic fundamentals. As a valuation-based investor, we look for undervalued assets to take profit when things become overvalued. There are considerable local and international risks that should be weighing on share prices and valuations. Yet equity markets are near historical highs. So in our experience, they look overvalued. This explains our relatively more defensive positioning versus peers to the equities asset class of 40% and a high 14% allocation to cash as at the end of June 2019. As a result, we might miss out on some unexpected equities growth. But if or when markets stop defying gravity, and history suggests they will, they have the potential to more than wipe out those gains. And our relatively large cash allocation means we have the dry powder to quickly act on opportunities. It's an approach we've consistently followed for the core strategy. And it has been successful since super ratings started keeping records on the median Australian super fund in the year 2000. Our core strategy has delivered considerably above average performance. There's also more to financial markets than equities. So even if equities continue to rise in the short term, in line with our mantra of staying long-term focused, well diversified and disciplined, we see good reason to keep our relatively defensive core strategy positions in place. Until recently, REST had held 40% of Colgar Wind Farm, the biggest renewable energy producer in Western Australia. The deal to take full control makes the wind farm one of the largest local renewable energy projects directly owned by an Australian super fund. Infrastructure currently makes up about 6% of the core portfolio, and the ability to do a deal like this highlights the benefits of being one of the largest super funds. Our scale means we can easily access a wider range of asset classes, including unlisted assets, not available to smaller funds. To find out more about your super balance and investment options, just log into member access at rest.com.au. Thank you.